In my position, as a descendant of Confucius, I cannot allow Dong Zhuo's villainy. I'm pleased to hear that. As leader of the White Riders, I promise you that the victory will belong to us. Hmm. Is this why each of these great lords gathered to brag about himself? They are fools. Cousin, is it really worth our while to take their side? The name Cao Cao will know renown all across the land. That's reason enough for now. But I require help from others in order for my plan to succeed. I am depending upon you. Have I ever disappointed you? There is no need to worry. I shall cut you a path to fame and glory. Cousin, why must we give aid to a person like Liu Bei? I know that there is a dragon hiding behind his gentle manners and quick smile. When the dragon emerges, it will join its forces with mine, or the dragon's fated to be destroyed. I'd find that very pleasant. Still, if they will fight Lu Bu for us, I must give them my thanks. Come now, Du. Is something wrong? You're not concentrating on the game. Losing at Go does not mean that I will lose in battle. Let's continue when I come back. Once I've defeated the enemy, I will return. All right, what's wrong, Xu Chu? What isn't wrong, Sha Hu Dun? I just feel so bad about what's going on. Lord Cao Cao fighting his friends. Oh. It can't be avoided. An enemy is an enemy, former friend or not. Yuan Shao has opposing goals. If Lord Cao Cao's goals differ, there's no way of avoiding a fight. Wow, I'm impressed. I think you're right. I can't believe how well you seem to understand Lord Cao Cao's thinking! Well, that is as far as my understanding goes. And besides, when it comes to my cousin, who could understand his convoluted dreams? Greetings to you, Shahodun. You've done well. Yuan Shao is gone. The times are changing, and no one's left from the old guard to stand in the way. Now the true fight really begins. That is what I suspect is the case. You're as smart as ever. You're right. You have realized what the true purpose behind my battle is. But still, I don't see what lies beyond the battle. Cousin, will you not even tell me? There is a time and a place for everything. It is still much too early to speak of the future I wish to build. You and your secrets, Cao Cao. Well, I guess I'll just have to end this chaos. That should help to get everything out into the open. And so Liu Bei stands against you. I wish we had destroyed both Lu Bu and him at Xia Pi. We made a decision. It was the right one. I do not have any regrets whatsoever in what we chose to do. He attracts people to him. That is Liu Bei's gift. It's a skill to be envied. It is also one to be feared. Compassion alone will not remedy this chaotic world. Things will just repeat themselves over and over again. <sighs> As usual, talking about this makes my head hurt. Anyway, all that matters to me is knowing that he's interfering with your plans. Nothing else concerns me. I will be back soon. Ha!
Please, forgive me, cousin. I was unable to capture him. It doesn't matter. He has been driven from Jing and lost most of his forces. That alone was worth it. Hmm. It is a full moon tonight, isn't it? Shaho Dun, come along and we'll drink together. I feel the moon calling me. I have spent much of this life that heaven has granted to me out on the fields of battle. Hmm. <laughs> That's not like you. I too am a human being. I grieve for all the wasted lives. However, within my vision there lies a greatness beyond the worth of life. A vision that exceeds all the worth of life itself. You don't lack for ambition, do you? I have a destiny of my own, to help create this world of yours. Master Shaho Doom, do you know what our Lord truly plans? Hmm? The rumors about the Emperor? Exactly. Firstly, what does he think of this? Is this even what he wants to have happen? Who can say? I have known him for ages, and even I cannot say what he is thinking most times. And yet, whether he accepts the throne or not, I believe that he will remain himself. He won't change not change. As commanding officers, we'll our duties. The enemy will bring its main force against us. Your duty is to stop them. Indeed it is. I can see why our Lord has kept you by his side so long. Even the feared one-eyed general is but a child before me. It is your turn, Shao Du. Go. I have no chance of winning against your cunning. I have heard that you refused the throne. I've grown tired of all this waiting. Tell me, cousin, what is this world that you envision? A land where people of talent and vision can change the world. A land where neither emperor nor lord is needed. You've answered my question. Knowing you, I should have expected it was something like that. <laughs> At last, the light that shines upon this lone eye has taken a form that I understand. Give me time, cousin. I shall bring an end to all of this fighting. All of your dreams are destined to come true. This should put an end to the fighting. A new world where neither emperor nor lord is needed to rule the land. But cousin, will it work out? The people of this land will revere you. Like the emperor you say the land does not need. I begin to understand. So cousin, we part ways. Let the victory cheer you as you journey to your destiny. Brother Doom, do you know where our Lord has gone? I can't find him, and I've looked everywhere. I see. So he has left already. Hmm? Yuan, Cao is no longer here. By now, he is somewhere under the starry sky. Huh? Are you kidding? <sighs> oh well. That's our Lord. Unpredictable. In this brand new land, 
We must carry on without an emperor or a Cao Cao to lead us. And we must give it the chance to grow as it will. We conquered this world of chaos alongside Lord Cao Cao. And now we will let you go in peace. Farewell, cousin.